hello all welcome back to my channel and today i am going to show you some basic techniques for shading pencil shading i'll show you the blending process i'll show you the source of light and what are the structures while you know sh shading an object so i'm going to use faber castell shading pencils and for blending i'm going to use a blending stump and also tissue paper i'll show you the difference first so here i have two circles i've drawn two circles over here and i will start with shading them this is the source of light so i'm going to keep the left area darker than the right so i'll start shading so here i'm using a blending stump to blend it's always really hard for me to blend with the blending stump. I always prefer tissue paper. You can see with the blending stump, it's not really smooth. Like if you want a smooth texture for your sketch, I think a tissue paper would be better. You can see in the second uh, object, I've used a tissue paper and you can see the difference. And now I'll show you the second part. I'll show you how to add value to an object while shading. Here also the light is gonna come from the right hand side. I'm gonna use a tissue paper from bl for blending, a little bit darker and then the lighter part. The light area of the object is known as the highlight of the object. And then comes the mild tone, which is what comes after the darker area, which is not that dark, which is not that light. No, it's the middle portion of the object. And then the dark area is called the core shade. The core shade is the other side of the object where the light is not much. And then the shadow falling where the light prevents from hitting is called a cast shadow. And you can see that white part over there. Yes, that's the reflected light which is bouncing back. So these are the layers that adding value to an object so over here i have uh, four different shapes and i will show you how adding value to four different shapes differ from each other here i'm gonna start with the core shape of the object then go to the mild tone and then blend both of them and you can see that the highlight is already formed and the cast shadow here made a cube and just like the layers there's a, a core shade which you can see the darker shade the mild tone will be on the front and then on the top it will be a highlight it will be a highlight and the cast shadow will be in the corner here i have a cone there will be three sides to this first the highlight the mild tone and the core shade then I have a cylinder I'm gonna use the same technique as I showed earlier so here it is hope you liked the video hope it was helpful um, please follow my Instagram page and please like and subscribe to my channel I hope this video was useful and please comment if you have any suggestions or you can dm me on my instagram page if you have any requests or anything thank you so much bye bye